Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Long Ball Beasts taking on the Expansion Era Boomers. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. And on the hill in this one, Tom Seaver. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for oh, in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Next pitch is outside. Just the third pitch of the night, and already a little question on the strike zone of the umpire in this one. And a swing and a miss there. The 2 2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Goes down looking. Here's the veteran shortstop, Derek Jeter. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, singing Derek Jeter turned out to be a pretty good first-round pick by the Yankees in 1992. Sixth overall, remember he struggled defensively in the minors, but debuted in 1995, helped lead the Yankees to a world championship in 1996. Hey. Struck him out looking. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's yeah. a two or three run homer. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there. On Welcome back. Showing the slab in today's game, Randy tonight. Johnson. No left he's a guy that's going to come right after hitters. I mean, he's not trying to fool them. He's going to pitch the contacts, not worry about it. He trusts his defense behind him. And he's not going to mess around with a whole bunch of different offerings. Only three pitches in the repertoire. So he knows he'll have to work in all three effectively and probably pitch backwards sometimes just to make sure this lineup isn't picking up on too many patterns. And there's a base hit to left. So a man on base to start the inning. He somehow got to that outside pitch that and pulled exactly. it hard into the outfield. Right Not exactly what you're supposed to do with that kind of location, Boy. but you wouldn't know it by how the ball came off his bat. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now he steps off the rubber. Now, Tony Gwynn. And that's in there for strike one. Johnson, a multi-Cy Young Award winner. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. At the belt and fires. Back up the middle and a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. And stepping in is the speedy Ken Griffey Jr. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. No outs. Runners at first and third. hit up the middle and they strike first as they take a one nothing lead 
That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Digging in, That's Mike low, Schmidt. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Gwynn, the lead runner at second. Junior at first with no outs. Slice to right. Walker pulls it down. One away. And next is the designated hitter, Jeff Bagwell. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. In the air, left field. Wrong. Drifts towards it. And there's two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Quinn coming around third. The throw home. Not in time. He scores. And they lead by two. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. On a line, base hit. Here comes Junior around third. He'll score. It's three zip. Back-to-back -back singles against good pitchers. You've got to take advantage of the mistakes. That was right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't miss a stitch. Two gone with runners at the corners. Here's a big power threat. Cal Ripken Jr. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. Right. That one's in there 0-1. 0-1. Popped up. Utley under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. They strike for three runs on five hits. Top of the second, stepping in, Mark McGuire. And a pitch. Just no, missed. Down. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope no, that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And here it comes. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Chris, you know, Mark McGuire was a first-round pick by the Oakland A's in 1981. But he was a first-round pick out of USC, and he was teammates there. Not everybody knows this with Randy Johnson. And that one finds its way through. And the leadoff man aboard. That is good. Now it's the DH, David Ortiz. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Seaver, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, a changeup. Biggio tosses to first, one out in the second. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Larry Walker. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. First offering, and it just misses. Runner leads away at second. On the ground to short. Cal gets it over to first. And there are two down. Here's a speed threat. Ryan Braun. The left fielder, number eight. Ryan Braun. First pitch, and he just misses. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Next offering is in for a strike. McGuire at second with two down. On the ground to the left. Foul, and foul. that's just foul. He goes down looking. We head to the bottom of the second. And here is Craig Biggio. Biggio. Johnson back to work. 
throughout his career. Biggio was as durable as just about anyone. In 20 seasons, he played at least 140 games 16 times. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That one is back, and it one-hops the wall. Into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Runner from second scores as they add on, and they lead by four. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Now, here is Tony Gwynn. The other way. Makes the grab one down. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. So up next, Ken Griffey Jr. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Jr. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Well, we can see him muscle up a little bit. He's trying to hit the ball a mile. Got to make sure that he stays within himself so that those mechanics can allow him to hit the ball a long way. And he hits a ground ball right side. On to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. Next to hit, Mike Schmidt. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Fall off foul. And a pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Walker raging back towards the wall. Back some more. Grabs it right up against the wall. And welcome back. Here's the speedy catcher, Joe Mauer. Seaver back to work. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Griffey in pursuit. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. And there's one away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Seaver goes six foot one, more than 300 wins in his career, and of course has a Cy Young to his credit. And the righty deals. Fights it off. He'll see another. And a pitch. Stays alive. And a pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. That one oh. missed. That's a really good take right what there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Caught him looking for the K. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's, it's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate oh and got that call third strike. Granderson. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Next offering is in for a strike. Okay. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Back here at the ballpark. Ready to go, to go for the last half of the That's inning. Stepping in the long ball Jeff. threat, Jeff Bagwell. Bagwell. Here comes a pitch. 
check swing but he went too far strike one Bagwell starting as the designated hitter hitting fifth in today's lineup can't forget to mention he's a former MVP strike two been a rough start on the mound for this guy his third inning so important for him to get on track turn the page settle in do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one that's the ball the next offering misses it's a ball and two strikes Bounced up the middle. Utley picks it up. The throw to first. One up, one down. So digging in, Eddie Murray. The switch hitter batting right. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Now it's going to be Mike Piazza. And that one fouled off. And now the lefty. They say it went. I went to. And the 2 That one ripped. Granderson racing over to make the catch. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those boom hits to get a knock sometimes. Fouled off. He was late. We'll always know Cal Ripken for the streak, but he was about so much more than that. He really changed the way we think about the shortstop position. Foul ball there. When Ripken came along, he was not in the mold of a traditional shortstop. He was a big, strong guy. His offense was just as strong as his fielding, though, and he had some pop. And that's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Seems like he got exactly what he was Second looking for there. right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the op. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. One run is in. In safely with a double, his second of the day. They add on as the run scores all the way from first. And it's now a six-run lead. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move. Tom Glavin into the game. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And now Ricky Henderson checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing according to Eric Summersgill. Man at second. That one drilled left field. And it's gone. He sends it out of here. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 8 nothing. Singing, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he has really seen the ball well in this one. And now Tony Gwynn singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh oh Swings and misses at the no pitch ball. off the plate. That's a really big swing right there. He's got to remember, with this speed, a walk or a single can turn into extra bases by stealing a base or two. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Ken Griffey Jr. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Gwynn on its second with two down. Out in the left center for a line drive base hit. Gwynn around third. He will score, and they now lead by nine. 
Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Drove that ball nicely. Put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Next to hit, Mike Schmidt. And fouled off. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 oh, now. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you could make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs. To well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. But nine. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Derek Jeter. 0 and 1. Chris, 2020, a special year for Derek Jeter as he was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Yeah, pretty special, and everyone right. saw that coming. All the writers voted for him except for one. Right hander kicks deals. On the ground to third. Zips it to first. And a quick out number now, one. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Jones yeah. in the box now. No balls and a strike. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. And he's down 0-2 oh, as he swings through it. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Swing and a miss struck him out. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. Oh, I'm impressed one. with what we're seeing here. McGuire stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Gwen under it makes the catch in and over. Bottom of the inning. Here's a big power threat. Jeff Bagwell. Jeff Bagwell. The pitch. Check swing. Went around. Strike one. And he flips a breaking okay. ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Lined, and that's a base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I could see already is bat state. He's in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. No, no waiting around right there. Now he was it. ready to swing it on the first pitch. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Next pitch has popped up. Infield fly rule in effect. Now batting. Shortstop. Stepping in, the slugging shortstop, Cal Ripken Jr. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Left field, wrong. Ranging back, back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. 
Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Biggio now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch. It was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. Out to short. Jeter handles the chance. They take the force out, and that'll do it. So they strand a pair. We played four. It's we go to the top of the fifth. Now here is David Ortiz. David Ortiz. Hawaii to kick the pitch. Ball one there. The next pitch misses. Now 2-0. Oh. The rest of the lineup could learn a thing or two from this at bat right here. He's been patient, and now he's in the driver's seat with a 2-0 oh count. On the ground. Biggio over to pick it up. Gets it to first. One away here in the fifth. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. And a foul ball. Up the middle. He dives, but he can't make the catch. No throw, and they don't get an out on the play. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Right. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Hard hit, left side. There's one. On the first, double play. And that's the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. The line of the pitch. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. He was all over right that one. Really Number good swing 19. right there. He got a pitch that he Tony. knew he could handle. Allowed himself Gwen. to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Gwynn yeah. stands in now and watches strike one. Good contact guy, good defender. Just a weak fly ball this time. And it's just foul. You'd be hard-pressed to find a better contact hitter than Tony Gwynn. The ball basically stood still for him. If it's near the plate, he'd get the barrel on it. And down on strikes he goes. One out. Man, how many times do you see three fastballs in an at-bat like that? I'm sure once he got to two strikes, he was trying to stay back for something off speed. He's going, he's just going. Ricky on the move. Line drive. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. Lead runner around second. Not in time. He's safe. And now it's going to be Mike Schmidt for the fourth time tonight. Base hit, and a run comes in. Another comes in to score, and the lead continues to grow. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. Just a slow ground ball this time. Jones handles. Tosses to first. And that is the third out of the inning. So two runs on three hits. No errors. No. And welcome back. New Lead inning off. getting started. And here's the catcher, the catcher. Joe Mauer. Joe Mauer. Seaver back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Seaver, 24 years old. And he's a former rookie of the year. That one misses, and the count even one and one. The 
pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Line drive. Hauls it in for the out. Now it's the second baseman, Chase Utley. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. On the ground to first. Murray takes it himself. Two up, two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Granderson in the box again. Takes a strike. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. Gone! The Rockets won to right, and they inch closer. It's 11-1. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Now it's the shortstop, Derek Jeter. In the air, right side. Squeezes it. That is the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. On to the bottom of inning number six. Back here at the ballpark. Now here's the switch inning power threat. Eddie Murray. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Smoltz. Righty delivers. This one smacked out to left center. Granderson racing over to make the catch. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Piazza, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball popped up. And it falls. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep, so... Pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Ripken, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in, he's in there. Now back. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And here is Craig Biggio. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh and one. Late on that fastball. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. He can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball, double play. Next pitch is popped up. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's two down. Well, oh, that's what he's looking for with the fastball above the zone. A swing and miss or weak contact. So the lineup flips over, and now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Ricky Henderson. In the air, center field. Granderson on the move. Pulls it in on the run. And that will end the inning. Top of inning number seven. Here's the third baseman, Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones. 
Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Catfish Hunter. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Started after it. Appeal to third. Yes, he did. That's a swing. The wind of the pitch. Bounce to the left side. On to Murray. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. The first baseman, number 25. And next Mark. will be the cleanup hitter, McGuire. Mark McGuire. He swings and misses at the first oh pitch. 0 and 1. And he deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. And now the DH, David the Ortiz. Batter, the designated hitter, David Ortiz. Swing and a foul straight back. Right handed reliever. That one misses. Oh. And that's ball one. One one. And a foul ball. Bounce to third. Schmidt over to first. And that is that. This one pretty well decided at this point. Welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. And now the right fielder, Tony Gwynn. The wind of the pitch. On the ground, out to short. Fires over to first. One up, one down. Oh, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Junior now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Rob Nen, a right hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Wilson warming up as well. Left hand batter waits. Gets a piece and stays alive. Next offering is fouled back. Here's the 0-2. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. The pitch. And that one hammered. That's back there. And it's gone. That'll fire up the dugout, and they boost their lead. It's 12-1. High velocity up and in is just such a difficult location for the hitter, but this time he pulls the hands tight to the body, gets through this pitch. What conviction in that swing. Awesome job at the plate. And now, Mike Schmidt. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. <laughs> Kicks and deals. Bounce to the right side. Slings to first. And they take care of Schmidt for the out. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. And that extends the inning. Man at first, Eddie Murray getting ready to hit. This guy has turned into a beast. And that one is lifted in the air. 
Granderson makes the catch, and that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We look ahead to inning number eight. For the top of the eight, now it's the right fielder, Larry Walker. And the pitch. Walker. And there's the strike. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Kicks and fires. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, you could tell he wasn't expecting that ball to break back in on him. He may have been looking for something away, maybe something soft, but that slider on the inside corner absolutely froze him. Line drive, caught. Two outs, space is empty. At the play, Joe Mauer. That's the third. On to Murray, and that is that. Three up, three down for him there. Home half of any. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Leading off, Mike Piazza. The pitch. Now a pop up on the infield. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Not shortstop. Cal Ripton yeah. Jr. The next to hit. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. Towards first. McGuire collects it. Steps on first for the out. No matter. Number seven. And stepping in is the speedy Craig Biggio. Next pitch is popped up. McGuire makes the catch, and that'll do it. Three up, three down that time. Ninth inning coming up. The Boomer. And welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Chase Utley. Hunter back to work. That's in there. That's strike one. Hunter measures six feet even. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he occasionally uses a curve. Out towards right center field and out number one on the grab. Back to the top of the lineup. And now here is Curtis Granderson. Pitch misses inside. One and oh. In the air, out towards left center. And Ricky Henderson to grab. And there's two away. The batter, number two. And the batter will be the shortstop, Derek Jeter. Jeter. First pitch just misses. One ball, no strike. There's a strike. That big curve inside's a pitch that can buckle you a little bit. Looks like a fastball out of the hand and then just drops over that inside part of the plate. Started after it. Appeal to first. And yes, he offered at it. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Just one strike away. Next offering misses down and away. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, I'm not sure if he expected to get nine outs in this one, but he had the gas in the tank to get it done. Kind of a throwback save for this guy today, but helps the team get the win. As you can see, they're pretty happy about it, and they're celebrating his performance in this one. 12-1.